cases. At St. Mary Magdalene Church in Abbeville, Louisiana, 60 children were poised to take their first communion Saturday. At this sacrament. When suddenly a man approaches the priest, whispering in his ear. Holy Mary. Moments later, Father Nicholas Dupree abruptly stops the service as chaos erupts. According to church officials, a suspicious person opened the back door. Members immediately confronted him and led him outside, calling police. Authorities say he was armed with a gun. Inside, the video shows clergy members ducking for cover, altar servers scrambling to safety as police rush in, guns drawn, checking for any additional threat. Just get a hold of your child, go slowly. The suspect was a 16-year-old white male, police say, dressed in all black. He was arrested, then taken to a hospital for mental evaluation, charged with terrorizing and two counts of juvenile gun possession. Incredibly, police say there were no injuries. Hallelujah. But at today's service, the scars were clear. It bears a shocking similarity to yet another close call last week at a Pittsburgh church when a man approached the pulpit and aimed directly at the pastor, who was spared, police say, only when the gun jammed. Back in Louisiana, the church plans to have law enforcement stand guard at every service going forward as more houses of worship are forced to mix the power of prayer with the presence of police. Blaine Alexander, NBC News. What is really going on in churches where time after time you have individuals that's running in the church with guns? What is going on in the church that individuals feel like they need to run inside with guns and shoot up the place? What is going on? Are the pastors getting into criminal activities where it's leading to these people coming in trying to kill them? Like something has to give. Is it the church members? Are they into illegal activities with criminals for these criminals to come in and try to kill them? Something has to give. Let me know what you guys think.